is up guys, Jack today here with a video for you, oh my god. Hey guys, Jack here again today with a video on top 10 iOS 9.3.3 jailbreaks. As you guys can tell, I'm making this video because the jailbreak like, just came out a couple days ago and I'm really excited about it and I'm excited to show you guys what I have on my phone, so let's hop right into it. So this first tweak I wanted to talk about with you guys is called Aurora LS. I might have butchered it, but it'll be uh, down here so you guys can read it. And it's on the lock screen, and it's what makes this time thing look like 1153, which will be spelt out in like numbers, or in, le in letters, according to what time it is. And it looks really clean and super nice, and the animations in this thing are just really good. So I definitely recommend it for any of you uh, simplistic people out there that really love changing up your lock screen. So it's Aurora LS. The next one we're going to be moving on to is this one below here, it's called Lock Lift, and what it does is when I put my fingerprint on here, this is for all the ones with fingerprint sensors such as the 5S, 6, 6S, 6S+, 6Plus, any of the ones that have fingerprint scanning, you can scan your fingerprint and it'll actually show it happening as it goes so that you know for sure what goes in and like it's just a better reassurance of like showing that you have your fingerprint go through. Alright, this next tweak I'm going to show you guys is called BioProtect, and what that does is it locks your apps from people getting into them that are uh, using your phone with your fingerprint or with the password. So what you can do is, see I'm trying to get into Snapchat and I have to use my fingerprint. So I use my fingerprint and it'll get me in. And like let's say I use a finger that doesn't work, like my pointer finger. And it won't let me get in. And I can enter a password as well too. And that'll work just as well to get me in. So that one's called BioProtect and you can use it on any app and there's lots of like features you can use to uh, lock apps and make apps like go away if um, people try to get in but can't in a certain amount of times and things like that so it's a really nice feature for people who like to protect their things on their phone. This next tweak I have for you guys up is called delete cut and what it does is if you hold the shift key and you press back it'll get rid of the whole word like let's say I just ate pizza. Let's say I didn't want to say pizza you can hold the shift key go back and it'll get rid of the whole word. I think it's really helpful in a way to show that like you can get rid of words, multiple words at one time without having to like constantly keep deleting everything. So you could say like a pasta. So it just looks a lot better and it's like a lot quicker and a lot easier for like people who like to use the uh, stock iOS keyboard. Alright, this next tweak I have for you guys is for anyone who uses Instagram a lot like how I do. And what you can do with this one is you can look at people's pictures and then you can like zoom in on things. Like if you hold this for a little bit. You can like zoom in on it with having, without having to like double tap, like you can double tap and it'll zoom in and not like it instead. And it's just really nice for like Instagram and being able to like go through feeds kind of like you would on Facebook but you can actually like zoom in on things instead of just like looking at it from the little picture it is. Like with the uh, profile pictures right here you can hold on to these as well. Another thing you can also do in um, Instabutter is save pictures instead of having to screenshot them so you can just save the media instead of like screenshotting it and then having to uh, crop it later so you can just save it right away so like let's see if I save this one save media see it says it's saved it'll go right to my photos and it'll be right there and it's just great for anyone who uses Instagram a lot and I really help think it's useful for um, anything that you guys would need on Instagram Alright, this next tweak I have for you guys is called Nude Keys, and what that does is it makes the uh, stock keyboard look a lot better in my opinion. You can choose like different colors for this. I have like black and gray set up because I really like the way uh, that it looks and the simplicity of it. So what it does is it just makes it look a lot better. It's just kind of like a theme for your keyboard I guess in a sense. That just changing up the colors and making it look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. Alright, this tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called Cylinder. What Cylinder does is it changes your animations that you have on your lock screen going from screen to screen. And you guys probably already know about this if you guys have geoparked before, but for people who haven't, it's really, really good. And there's a version called the Barrel that there's out. And what Barrel does is kind of like the paid version of this, but in my opinion, this is a lot better because you can like switch them up and everything. You can like add different um, animations and combine them and to make them look really good. I think mine is like Wave and um, Fade Away or something like that. And it just looks really good in my opinion. It makes everything a lot cleaner and a lot smoother. Alright, this next tweak I have for you guys is called Priority Hub. And what this does is it makes your notifications a lot cleaner and a lot easier to go through instead of going through a whole list of different notifications that you don't really want to go through. Let's get into the settings. 
Alright, so you can send test notifications to see what it looks like. Well, this, this also works with Aurora LS if you guys want to get that as well. It'll just move it up. But what it does is it sends like different things in different categories. Like it'll be on Snapchat. You, you can do it on like messages. And what this will do is you can like, you, know, you can hide it so you don't have to see them all at one time. Or you can tap on it and it'll show all of them at once. Or you can slide, slide, or you can swipe down for them to go away. And it just looks really clean and it makes things a lot easier for when like you have to d have to deal with multiple text messages and emails and Snapchats and things like that. The next one we're going to move on to is called Spring to Mice 3. In Spring to Mice 3, I can make a whole video about this thing, but I'm just going to go in detail of what I use it for. See, what I use it for is to get into apps a lot quicker. I can get into my pictures really quick. You see that? Instead of like on the regular iOS. So let's hop right into Spring to Mice for a minute. Here it is. See, there's tons of things you can do here. You can deal with your animations, app sliders, control centers, doc, etc. As you can see on the screen. So what I've used it for is, like I just said, the animations and for changing like the bubbles that you have on your notifications. I did mine the blue and uh, white. And there's just so many things you can do in there. And I can change the control center like color. I change it to a little bit darker so that it looks better. You can also change like the notification center as well. There's just so many things you can do in Spring to My 3. I'm not going to hop into it today. I might do it a different video if people request it. But it's a really, really good um, tweak and I'd really recommend it to anyone who's jailbreaking. Alright, this next one's kind of a simple tweak, it's called Status Volume 2. And instead of having that hub right there where you have all the uh, volume controls and stuff like that, it'll go like up top right on your notification bar, so it's not in the way of anything. Then you can like put it on put it on silent and put it on your ringer, and it'll tell you when it's up silent and stuff like that. It makes things a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. So this last thing I have for you guys is called Anemone, and it's what I'm using to theme my whole phone. And I'm not using Winterboard because Winterboard was really uh, glitchy and it crashed a lot. But this one, I got introduced by Everything Apple Pro, and it's just really good. The interface on it is amazing, and it shows you, like, previews of what you're going to have before you even have it. So I can, like, let's say I enabled this one right here, the one I have right now. I said apply. It'll show me the preview of what it'll look like before I even apply it, so that I know if I'll like it or not. So this theme I have right here, it has, like, Star Wars and stuff like that, which I really love. And it has just a lot of things with, like, sound effects and such like that. Um, it's called... Prismo Glyph, and it's not like Prismo iOS 9. I like tried downloading that one. It's not it. It's just called Prismo Glyph, no iOS 9 or anything. And that's the one that works. So uh, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video and uh, like and subscribe if you guys want more of this content. And I will uh, see you guys in the next one. See ya.